What's up, y'all? It's Trent and Sanderson. You're tuned in to the correct video. Divine powers are always working for us because we're doing right. First of all, hats off to you if you click this video uh, for being so courageous to, to click a video on a topic talking about addictions. I know this is something that a lot of people keep behind closed doors. A lot of people don't want to talk about it. But hey, if you were smart and you're intelligent and you by yourself, you would have clicked this video because I would have too, all right? Uh, I'm about to talk to y'all about addictions and how to break the addictions. I found out the master key on breaking any addiction that you have. Now, I'm not going to get down into each addiction and, and the different types of addictions and stuff. But if you watch this video and you have an addiction, okay, and you've contemplated in your mind with no one around, with yourself, whether or not that thing that you do, are you addicted to it? If you ask yourself that question, 99.9% .9 of the chance is you are addicted to it, okay? We cool, right? We cool, all right? Listen, and don't take it personally. I personally have also had addiction. That's why, that's the only reason why I can make this video, okay? Um, even though I don't do it no more and I don't knock people who still do it, which is practically cool, okay, but I used to be a big pot smoker. I used to smoke a lot of pot. Like, I, every time I talk on the phone, I used to have to have a joint rolled up. In the morning, right before I eat breakfast, I used to have to have a joint rolled up, you know what I mean? At lunchtime, I had to have a joint rolled up. Like, I was a chronic smoker, 24-7, 365. I believe I smoke more people than people that smoke cigarettes, all right? As a matter of fact, I used to smoke a lot of cigarettes. Yes, I used to literally go to the store and buy a pack of cigarettes, okay? And I used to do it every time I would run out, okay? I don't do that anymore, all right? I'm not addicted, okay? I also used to be a big alcohol user, okay? And when I say addiction, an addiction is something that you cannot control, okay? A person who's addicted to some type of substance, all right, they got to do it every day. Right. As a matter of fact, it's like as soon as they wake up in the morning, they got to have it. They can't function without out it. OK, their body is in complete opposition of being sober. OK, they got to have the substance. That's what an addiction is. All right. And so I used to always have a bottle of alcohol. When some girls came over, I had to, me and my homeboys had to have some alcohol. When my homeboys came over, me and my homies had to have some alcohol. Every time we was rolling out to go kick back, we had to have a bottle of alcohol. Alcohol, 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 alcohol. I don't think, I don't think those years in my life I was ever, ever sober. Ever, okay? I'm going to let you know another bit for the record about me. I used to do coke. And I'm going to keep it 100. I used to do coke, okay? Yeah, that thing where you crunch it up and you... Sniff it up. I did that, okay? And I don't do that no more, period. I don't do none of this stuff no more, okay? Now, I do still sip a little bit from time to time, alcohol, liquor, whatever, but I control it now. I'm the king of it now. Like, I don't, I can't, I can go without it, you know what I'm saying? And I can get it and buy it whenever I please, you know what I'm saying? And... I'm usually never drunk, except for maybe if I go out and it's, you know, we having a great time with a whole lot of friends or whatever, which is every blue moon now, okay? And that's cool. And addiction is something that you cannot control, all right? Now, if you feel like you're doing something that you think that you are addicted to, if you can't control it and you automatically feel like you got to have it, that's an addiction, whether you want to admit it or not, a lot of people say all oh, these excuses like this came from that. Oh, well, my uncle did it and they, they doing good. Yeah, my granddaddy, he 58 years old and he's still doing. You can use excuses all you want to cover up the fact that you are addicted to it. You can do that all you want. The more you continue to do that, the more you perpetuate the addiction. All right. Now, me, the reason why I quit a lot of things that, that I quit I'm, a, I'm just wired a little different, okay? I have very strong mind power. That's just one of my gifts, okay? That's one of my attributes about me. When I say I'm going to stop doing something because I see it being detrimental to my well-being and it start messing up my drive, my success and stuff, I quit. I quit, all right? That's just me. If I can see that people can notice it on me or people will say things to me that make me think about the thing that I was doing, that I was addicted to, that, then that's, that's a dead giveaway right there. I'm done with it. I don't want nobody to be 
belittling me or stereotyping me saying this and that. That's just the way I'm built. I don't know how you built, okay? I don't know how long you can let the addiction go before you actually hit a turning point to say, no, I'm done with it, okay? But once again, the more you continue to have excuses about making it normal as much as you think in your mind you're gonna make this thing normal it's a part of life baby it's always gotta be for human beings then the more it's gonna go on and on and on all right if you want to break an addiction the, the reason why you have an addiction to the thing that you are addicted to is because you don't have enough stuff to do okay you got too much hands too much time on your hands and you know that that's that statement that goes like <clears throat> idle hands are the devil's workshop, okay? Idle hands are the devil's workshop, all right? Usually, most of the time, when you are doing a thing that you are very addicted to, you are getting bored as shit, okay? It's usually when you don't got nothing to do. It's usually when you're sitting around thinking, pondering in your thoughts. It's when those negative thoughts come up in your mind and they say, well, you ain't getting enough dopamine off of this thing that you're doing. What about going and doing the addiction thing? You know, what, what about doing the thing that you really get a, your estrogen is really released? You be like, yeah, yeah, that makes me feel better than this. See, that's the only reason why you got an addiction to it. That's the only reason why you can't stop doing it. It's because you, you don't got, you got too much time on your hands and you don't got enough things that you can do in the replace of the thing that you don't want to do. Isn't that's you? Isn't that when you find yourself doing a thing that you don't really want to do? It's always when you about to get really, really bored. Okay, it's when you resort back to doing the habit, habitual thing that you know ain't getting you nowhere. See, that's the thing about addictions. Addictions is like a theme park, a roller coaster, a theme park. It's a thrill for the moment, for two minutes. It's a thrill. All right. It makes you think you are getting ahead. OK. Addictions make you think you get in a quick hit. Like, oh, man, like, oh, man, it'll make you feel smart. Like, oh, this, this made me feel smarter. I am so conscious. I am awakened. Oh, man, I'm a superhero, man. Yeah, I can beat everybody up. Yeah, man, I'm the king of the world, man. You know, your addiction, it make you feel all these different moves and all these different emotions that you don't even feel without it. Why you can't feel like that without it? Because that thing is that thing that you are addicted to is, is made for that. Addictions, think, pills, prescriptions, Percocets, whatever, whatever your addiction is, methane, amphetamine, whatever it is, to each his own, okay? It just make you feel good temporarily, okay? Meaning it's a not it's not a real feeling. It's just a quick fix. Okay, so at the end of the day, okay, at the end of the day, the whole addiction is not gaining you anything when it's over. All right, just, just think about it. Just think about after you come down off of being drunk. What do you feel like most of the time? Right, right, right. You have a hangover. You feel depressed. You feel drained. You know what I mean? You feel like nothing has really happened. Okay, you still come back to the same person after that addiction, you come back to the same person and you're like, man, damn, I shouldn't have did that, man. Damn, I want the real thing, man. I want the real thing, man. This damn drug ain't, this drug don't do it the way I want. It's good, though. I guess I'll do some more tomorrow, shit. I'll do some more tomorrow. Anyway, I'm back to normal now. Drug ain't real, man. The addiction ain't real. It's just a thrill. It's just a little roller coaster ride up and down, up and down. You know what I mean? And the next thing you know, you're probably going to be spending some more money on another thrill that's only going to last for maybe 30 minutes or five minutes, whatever your addiction is. All right. But the way to get rid of the addiction is this. I'm about to tell you how to get rid of the addiction, because like I said, I'm not here to bash nobody or nothing. I'm just telling you the reason why you are addicted to what you're addicted to. And I'm just telling you why you start doing it all the time in the first place. And now I'm about to tell you how to get rid of it. Now, here's the thing. Now, I know everybody has had those moments where you just went like a few hours without doing your preferred substance or the thing that you are addicted to. You went hours without it. Some of y'all have gotten so good at this, you went days without doing it. And you say to yourself in your mind, you say, dang, man, I'm, 
I really, I really am. I really am a real person. Like, you know, I really do got control of this thing. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now. No, you don't. No, you don't. Nope, 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 nope. Okay? When it comes down to being addicted to things, right? Okay? You're going to have withdrawals. Sometimes these withdrawals don't happen day by day. Sometimes they happen every other day. You understand what I'm saying? So, depending on how the, whatever hit you got or fix you got or however long you did that thing that you are addicted to, it might. It's just like gas. You pump that tank up, you know what I mean? You get it on halfway full, you can go maybe 100 miles, and next thing you know, you're going to be on E again. But you can go 100 miles, all right? It'll make you think you're doing good, all right? Drugs and addiction is not to make you think that you need it again in the next 10 minutes. It's not to make you feel like that. It's to make you feel like you still got it all together, but when you really don't, all right? That's what the, that's what the, the addictions do. That's why it's called an addiction, because you can't control it. It's controlling you, all right? So the only way to break that addiction, all right, the only way to get rid of that addiction, to, to, to become a person who's not being controlled by this addiction you got to find something to do that you love to do more than the addiction. I'm going to say that one more time if you didn't hear me. you got to find out what is it that you love to do that you love to do more than the thing that you are addicted to. That's the reason why you are addicted to what you're addicted to. Because you got too much time on your hands to sit around and think about the addiction. Now, when you fill your mind up or in your day up, in actions and doing things that you truly love to do and you start to like it and love it more than the addiction then the addiction becomes the forerunner okay then it becomes the thing behind you that's trying to keep up with you versus you running after the addiction you see what i'm saying so that means you gotta find creative outlets okay to utilize your time in versus sitting around in the house and doing something that you know you want to do for the moment, and then you start thinking about an addiction, and you go do that addiction. Hell, the break half of my addictions, I bought game consoles. You know what I mean? Still to this day, even though I know I still want to go get me some, uh, even though to this day I still want to go get me like bottles of liquor day by day, I don't. You know what I mean? I play PlayStation, man. Next thing you know, I'm thinking about something else that I really want to do. You see what I'm saying? You got to keep yourself away from the addictions and the things that is a thrill. You understand what I'm saying? So that could be like I do. I mean, he go get, get play a PlayStation. Okay? Go hiking. Take a hike through a nature trail. You know, another thing I do to, to keep my, my, my body balanced and my, my life balanced and whatnot, I go, I go in the woods and just go walk around the woods and stuff, man. For real. Y'all know all them videos I done made where I've been out there in the woods. I be walking around before I even make the video. I'm just out there for like an hour or two. Just doing things to keep my mind in creative processes. Okay? So I don't resort back to doing things that I used to do. All right? You can do all kind of stuff. Learn how to cook. Just go learn how to cook. All right? Some of y'all can't cook. But you addicted. And you hooked. You, ain't, you don't even know how to cook. Go learn how to cook. You got to eat. Play basketball, lift weights, go running, mountain climbing, go swimming. It's a, Listen, it's a lot more things out here in the world, in nature, in real life that you will find that you are more addicted to than drugs or alcohol or even any kind of substances. It's a lot of things out here in nature that you will find that you love more than being addicted to sex. Okay, it's a lot of things out here that you can find that you love to do other than chase girls all the time. You know what I mean? It's a lot of things, man. The only thing you got to do is, is start figuring that out and start doing it. And so this this what this requires is this requires for you to actually take the time out to actually try to do different things. All right. If you want to continue to sit and be lazy and say, nah, I ain't going to listen to what Trent doing. He don't know me like that, man. God put this here for me and you. You know what I mean? If you want to continue to, to sit around and come up with all little lazy boy excuses, you want to come up with ways 
to just continue to be mediocre, to continue to let something outside of yourself make you and trick you think that you're smarter than what you really are. If you want to continue to let this drug, or let these things abuse you and make you feel like you're really growing when you do it, like you are really becoming a greater person, like you're the next best superhero. If you want to really feel like that, go ahead, be my guest, continue to do what you're doing, okay? But if you want to change your whole life, if you want to rewire your whole brain and get yourself out of the habit of doing the same thing and same thing and same thing and same thing all the time, then you will do what I'm telling you to do. Take action and figure out what it is that you love to do other than what you always do, which is the addiction. Do you like to work on cars? Are you hand savvy? Okay, do you like to fix things? Do you, uh, you know, are you like a handyman, repairman? What do you like to do? Do you do hair really good? What do you like to do? That's the that's the thing that's keeping you from the from do, from keep continuously doing the addiction. It's because you don't got nothing to do. I'm trying to tell y'all. Other than that, you gotta have a strong mind to break addiction. I'm the type of guy, like I told you at the beginning of the video, I'm the type of guy, if I say, if I see something that's being detrimental to my well-being, I'm able to say no, and I won't ever do it again. Or just completely cut back on it for good. That's just my mind power. But I know everybody ain't like me. Everybody not like me. Okay, so if you if you like that, if you like that, then I hope that you, you stand true to yourself. Okay? But if you know you need to find something in your meantime to do, you need to find that thing and you need to do it, okay? Another thing that, that helped me break out of addictions, such as like smoking black and mouths all the time, too. Uh, another thing that helped me break out of my addictions is when I found my purpose in life. I found my purpose. I'm a life coach, like what I'm doing now. I found out that I get a more natural high coaching people and telling people how to live the greatest life ever. I, it makes it does something to me, okay? It, it, it turns me on to be able to see myself talk and be so influential and inspiring like this. It turned me on. Like I like that boy. I like that boy right there. Three, three. Like I like that. And so I began to begin to do that more and more and more and more and more. And it got me higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. Like, ooh, I love this. And see, here's the thing about this high that I got. Because I set out and try to find out what I wanted to do with my life versus doing the addictions. I found it. Because I actually committed the actions to figure it out. Listen, I used to do a lot of different things before I started life coaching. I used to paint. I tried painting. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I do music from time to time. Still do that from time to time now, but not as much as I do life coaching. You know, um, what else did I used to do? There's a lot of things I used to do, man. I used to do a lot of stuff, okay? But I said to myself, this is it right here. I had all these different things that I had set out to do to see what can help me break these addictions, okay? And I found it. I was like, this is my baby right here. I'm a great, influential life coach. And then I started doing it. And you, if you see my videos, Five or six years back, you subscribe to me, you see all 1,700 videos every day I make for the past four or five years. You will see that I'm addicted to that. All right? I'm not addicted to no substances. I'm not addicted to no drugs. I'm not addicted to anything outside of my body that I think is making me feel better than who I truly am. I'm great in my own form right now. Sober. All right? So that's how you break addictions. Okay, you just simply got to find something that you love to do more than you do what you're doing. It's easy. Okay, and remember, see, the, the, the word addiction, that's why I know a lot of people didn't click this video because they weren't brave enough. They didn't have the courage in them to click it. All right, and I feel sorry for them because they're going to still have the addictions that you, about, you are free from at this point in this video. You're free from it now. You don't got it no more. Don't you realize that just, what just happened right now? You don't have an addiction no more. And listen, the word addiction has a bad reputation. When they when people hear it, they get scared. But really, you know what an addiction is. Addiction is something that you can't control. All right? Now, I ain't saying you can't drink wine no more because you used to drink it every single night. What I'm saying is don't let wine drink you. You drink wine. All right? And be able to change it to water sometime. All right? You got to be able to say sometimes, some days, 
I don't good. I'm good, man. I'm about to go give me some lemonade today. Tonight I'm gonna sit home, drink me a smoothie. Uh, you gotta be able to say, you know what? I'm gonna wake up in the morning. I'm gonna make me a smoothie, man. Give me some raspberries. Give me some cantaloupe, some bananas. I'm gonna blend it up in my blender. And I ain't gonna drink nothing today, man. I'm gonna just. You gotta say things like that to yourself some days. Yeah, man. You know, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna smoke today, man. I'm just gonna. Today, man. It's all about self love, man. I ain't gonna smoke nothing today, man. I'm just gonna. You know, I'm going to go to the, take the kids out, man. I'm going to walk the dog. Man, I ain't even going to smoke today just because I can do that because I got a strong mindset. That's what, now you're not addicted. Now you're not addicted. But when you like some of them junkies out there, oh, man, I got to have it. I got to have it, man. You got something for me? Hey, man. Hey, man. Come on, man. Come on, Craig, man. You When you like that, oh, I got to have it. It's like, man, I'm about to rap, man. I got I to gotta have it. I'm about to rap, man. Yeah. I'm feeling like I can, I can spit all the bars now. I'm intelligent now, man. Yeah. I can see the universe, man. Yeah, I got I got my hit, man. Yeah. You ain't no real rapper if you can't rap with a sober mind. You ain't no real lyricist if you can't come up with all these words in your imagination without putting something in your body from outside of your body. You ain't no real lyricist, no real genius. That ain't you rapping. That's a hallucinogen. That's a drug. Keep it 100. If y'all were talking about being real out there, be real. Work on your real self and get a natural high of life. Who can do that? Who can have a natural high? Who can be so excited? Who can laugh so much and be so happily ever after without putting something inside their body, outside their self? Who can be happy like that? Who can be happy without having a go? He, he, he got a lot of money. He'll ball the girl. You know, I'm going to dance for him. You can't be happy with yourself like if you was happy with him since he got a lot of money. I bet you can't be happy with yourself. You addicted. The addiction is broken now. It's broken. Find something to do more than you love to do the addiction and it will be gone for good and it will be behind you, okay? And then you will have control over that thing that you like to do. And then you will have full interest in the thing that you really, truly love to do. Now, I ain't mean to hurt nobody's feelings in this video. Don't take it personally. To each his own, right? Most of y'all probably gonna quit the addiction or cut back on the addiction after this video, right? If you find it in you, you ain't ready yet and you wanna still continue to do it, be my guest. Give this video a thumbs down. Hate all you want. You don't make me no mind. Don't say I didn't tell you though, because y'all see me. I'm doing good. I'm living successfully. And listen, best thing about it all is I'm sober. I'm, go I'm Gucci. All that hype that I just had come from the love and the passion of me doing something that I truly love to do. That's a God-given gift, all right? So I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'm Trenton Henderson. I am your life coach. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel by clicking my face icon up there. And hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload new videos like these two right here. You know what's another one of my addictions? My real addiction now? They look. I, I found out that I like candles. Ah, I got candles all around the house. I like candles. Yeah.